Adam Lambert, welcome back to Sunrise. I feel like you were just here. I'm always just here, I think, you know? <laughs> I've been coming here now for a while, for the last, like, nine years. It's, I love it down here. So welcome to A decade in the biz, a colourful career no one could have predicted. What do you think the young Adam Lambert would think of the extraordinary position you're now in? I don't know what he would think. I mean, I, I always think to myself, like, I, I didn't see any of this all happening. I thought I was going to be working in the theatre for the rest of my life, which was really fun for a long time, and, and I, I may even go back to it at some point. But the turn that my career took, I, I, I didn't see it coming. And I'm really grateful for it, because it's amazing. Ironically, the TV audition that launched Lambert into stardom... Mama, life is just begun. A queen hit would place him as the band's future frontman. When you look back on, on those days, would you, would you change anything? Would I think I was definitely the first half of the competition. I was definitely very nervous. I think that if I had some way to go back and tell myself to calm down and take a deep breath, that's the only thing I would change. Do you still get nervous? Every once in a while, yeah. Recently I sang for Cher at the Kennedy Center Honors and I got really nervous. You know, it was Cher, she was up there in the balcony, I was singing her song and, you know, that's a very highbrow crowd and, yeah, I got really nervous. There's no doubt Lambert is a showman, an obvious choice to step into Freddie Mercury's shoes. your response when people say you're not Freddie Mercury? No <laughs> I mean, that's just the best response. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting because there's inevitable comparisons that are going to be made. Obviously, I'm up there singing the songs that he made famous, that only Freddie could sing the way Freddie could sing them. And from the get-go with Brian and Roger, the conversation was, please, Adam, make it your own. We want you to be you. And that took a lot of the pressure off. Um, to get up there and do an imitation would just seem a bit, I don't know, kind of sacrilegious, you know, a bit, a bit tacky. We're about the same age, Adam, and like me, I understand you really discovered Queen through Wayne's World. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Is that an awkward story to tell, Queen? Um, no, I mean, I think they got a <laughs> kick out of it. I was really honest with them. I mean, they know how old I am and how old they were when I was born and whatnot. So yeah, it's, it's, they found that kind of delightful, I think, that that's how I first became introduced to Bohemian Rhapsody. Adam says playing with one of the world's biggest bands has influenced his new music. Now with an independent label, he makes music on his own terms. The first release from his upcoming album is New Eyes. I wanted to start my project off with a song to kind of set the mood. Like a bit of a slow dance before it gets a little bit crazy. A little teaser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little kiss on the ear. <laughs> Foreplay, perhaps, is a better Foreplay word. Foreplay is a good word, yes. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. Wise is a song about being in like kind of that place of feeling a sort of uninspired and a little bit sad and meeting somebody that uh, inspired me to look at life differently and look at it fresh. It's a pretty special thing to be able to write a song about a somebody. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing Yeah, and skill. that somebody liked that song. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Somebody is otherwise known as Javi Costa Polo. Adam recently made their relationship Instagram official. What was the feedback from that somebody? Oh, he, uh, he was, uh, my boyfriend is, is a sweet guy and, and he was very um, flattered by the song. He's on top of the world and at the top of his game. What is the ultimate fantasy then for Adam Lambert? Well, I mean, I'm kind of living it. I get to make music and entertain people and make video clips and play dress up all the time and <laughs> sing with Queen. And I mean, it is a fantasy really in many ways. And that was one of the other big things in, in as far as my journey over the past couple years that, that really helped me is, is stepping back into putting it all into perspective and reminding myself, hey, you got it pretty good, you know, <laughs> enjoy it.
He's such a great bloke. Adam Lambert's new single, New Eyes, is out now. It's from his upcoming fourth album, Velvet. And the epic seven-date Rhapsody tour is set to run in Australia in February next year and concert dates are on our website. Mm. And in case you're wondering, he is a deliberate tag dag, that Balenciaga tag from his very expensive jacket. So, Koshy, maybe uh, you can pick up that trend, just Kelly Country on your shoulder there, perhaps. What do you think? So is that a flesh brand, is it? Yes. But do, does that normally come on a shoulder or is he put that on deliberately. Why no. would he put I it mean, on if you, deliberately? If you're going to pay thousands of dollars for a jacket, I think you want to tell everybody it is very expensive. It's like having Gucci on your T-shirt, isn't it? Is oh. that the same? Oh. I love him. Good on him. Yeah, yeah he's a really what nice What a great guy. career. Mm. And he's a fantastic singer. Thanks, Eddie.